All right, hi there, YouTube. I'm the Storm Lord with Lush Gaming, giving you a heads-up tip on how to get any of uh, Flight Stick work, Flight Stick to work with the new Ace Combat Seven Skies Unknown. Uh, I thought it was really stupid when it was released. It only is compatible with one joystick that Thrustmaster specifically made for the Ace Combat game, and uh, they just forgot to, you know, take into consideration for all of their other products that people own. So it was kind of, you know, like a, a stab in the back slightly because, you know, I've been waiting a lot, long time for this game to come out. Not even able to use my, my throttles that I bought almost specifically for, you know, well, flying games. You specifically buy them for flying games. And the one of the best flying games that comes out, you know, you can't use it. So it was a huge letdown. But I was inside the Steam community and uh, I was able to find, uh, I was able to, I put a couple of chats up there in a discussion trying to figure out what was going on with, you know, the whole flight stick not working. And uh, a guy sent me a link from a, a person named uh, Atari, I think his name is. Uh, yeah, Antares. He put this link up or this discussion up here and it basically walks you through how to, you know, do everything. So you're going to need you're going to need the GitHub, you're going to need the doc vigum. Uh, you see, you just download those. I'll show you here in just a second. And it's literally got step by step. So, as for the UCR, you know, unpack it, launch it, da 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 da, add, add these, add this. These are the different uh, outlets that you use to program your joystick. And then these are the, the controller buttons that uh, correspond to what you want to map your controller for. So, first things first, you know, I'll put these links in this, the description as well as the Steam link to the community. So you're going to download it, uh, you find it, just download it, I've already got it downloaded, WinZip it, uh, so you're just going to want to find it, hit extract all, uh, and, well, once it's downloaded, if you have WinZip, you can just go into your folder, let me get here one second for you guys, you'll just find it under your downloads, and uh, UCR is... Well, it's going to be in the use, wouldn't it? Just, you know, extract, extract files, and then it'll pop up on the top. You're going to do the same thing for your Vigium, but uh, I'll show you that in a minute. You know, just click on it. Here's your logs. This is any, and for any of the, like, errors that you have are going to be posted in here. Just click on your logs, or uh, the UCR, and that will pop up here in just a second. And I'm already going to have one mapped, so as soon as this launches, I can show you. So here it is. This is the one that I have done. But uh, you'll basically, it, like again, like I said, it's going to tell you step by step what to do. So launch it, open it, click on devices, manage devices. And uh, you're going to want to add a group, whatever you want to name it. I knew mine TMM. And these are going to be your inputs. So these are my two controllers, my flight stick and my throttle. Just add them over to here. Go to your output, do the same exact thing. Make a group, name it whatever you want. I name mine TMM out. And then you're going to find the Vigum Xbox 360 controller one. And what this is going to do, you're going to add it. And that's going to be like what your controls are based off of is the 360 controller layout, which is what's posted right here. These are all the controls for that. And you're going to map them over to your joystick. So you're going to add that. Just exit out. Then you're going to click on your well you can manage your profiles you want to click on it and then it's going to pop up and you want to click on uh, manage statuses oh no not manage statuses manage device groups and this little box will pop up then and you just want to select your inputs to what it was select your outputs to your outputs that you created then just exit out of there so what you'll do and this is just the old one that is this this is TM all right so I'm just gonna delete a few of these so that way I can show you how to do this so exit this so you're going to name everything that you have going on here so I let me make sure that my camera is not blocking anything or my, my face cam because I realized I did that in the last video so put this over here we want this on this side so machine guns so let's just call it 
match gun. Add it. This is your control. You're going to do a button to button. And then you're going to click add. And the 360s. And I'm running into an issue here. Button to button. Ah, oh, I wonder if it's because I have to deactivate a profile. All right, so let's try that button to button. There we go. And it's going to be the A button, which is said right here, machine gun. And then just find whatever, whichever input you want, thrust master, click find, button one. And you're just going to do that with every single thing. So, so let's say missiles. This is going to be your missiles. It's a button to button act match. And most of these will tell you what you need to do on them. And then these are all the different commands and it tells you what these do as well. So, you know, you're just going to work your way through. It's a button to button, add it. The button is B and I'm going to use my thumb button. Oh, and you see, so every once in a while, this likes to freeze up and do this. So if it ever happens, just click on your, th on uh, your bottom tab, close it. And it's going to ask you if you'd like to save. Make sure that you save, and if it still doesn't close, open up your task manager. Oh, that's a different one. Just open up your task manager. Find the UCR and task. Minimize, wait for it to disappear. And a little box is going to pop up somewhere. It'll say like archived file. Do you want to save any work you're doing? If that pops up, just click yes. And just relaunch the just relaunch the UCR program and all of your information will be saved where you left off. So again, I'm going to click that on my thumb button, button two. And you're just going to work your way all the way through and eventually you're going to start getting to like your accelerations and your decels and your turning. Well, let's do turn. This is going to be What is he? He wants us to use axes to axes, not axes, but axes to axes, add. So now this is going to be your axes. And it says down, right down here under turning, the left stick controls up and down. So left stick X for your X axis, left stick Y for your Y axis, and then find your controller. You're going to want your X axis. So axis X, which I just turned the controller left or right, or you can just go into your axes and click axis Y. Now you're going to do this for all of them. You're going to get to your yaws and you're just going to select axis rotation Z, or if your controller actually picks it up, mine doesn't like to do this. When I do this, it doesn't recognize that it's a control button. So I just have to click rotation Z. So you're going to work your way all the way through here, and I'm just going to open up my finished product that I have. It's actually not finished. I need to actually fin fix a few things. But we have fire machine gun, button one. Fire our missiles, which is also button one, but that needs to be fixed because they fire at the same time. There's three different weapons you change from. So I'm going to change this to button two, and I'm going to change my weapons with button three. And target is button four. So I did all that with my buttons, my D-pad up, you know, it's just a button to button. So I have up, up corresponds to D-pad up, down corresponds to left or down, left is to left, right is to right, acceleration. I need to switch, put this on slider one, deceleration to slider one, my yaw should be rotation Z change view is 7 flares is button 1 which is on my throttle Y axis is X and Y start is that camera is slider 0 
So you're basically you're just gonna go through here and you know you'll change all the settings. It basically walks you through on here. Some of them you might have to uh, you might have to play around with a little bit. But once you're done doing all your mapping, just exit out, file, save, and you're gonna want to activate it. But before you activate it, let me show you this one, how to get the Vigum driver. So when you launch this, it's going to look really confusing, and you're going to look for a link, but this is actually your link right here. So you're going to go into your PowerShell, and you're going to want to run it as administrator. So here's going to be the confusing part on what it's going to ask, or what it wants you to necessarily do. So first thing you're going to do, just right click on this, copy come over here left or right click and hit enter and what it's going to do is it's going to work its way through it's going to start downloading it and after it says right on here it says after a few minutes of downloading it should reply installed so then you want to add your repos or your repository whatever whatever it's a struggle today it's not yeah whatever so you're going to click on this just copy paste it enter now install the Vigum management module. So again, just copy, paste, enter. It's gonna do a little bit of work installing the mod. And the final step is to add your driver. You wanna make sure that this is all done processing before you do this step. Uh, it should give you the next command when it's finished. So right click, hit enter. It's going to do a little bit of transferring data. And if you don't get any error backs, it'll say install successful. Reboot is required because I already have this installed. And then you're just going to hit this, hit back, or hit enter. And it's going to pop up all the information, which should match this information right here. So hopefully I don't need to restart the whole computer, but you will need to restart UCR if you don't have this installed until after you get your programming done. You'll just close it, reopen it. But you're gonna click on your profile, just click activate. You'll hear a little, you know, a little USB uh, plugin that's been added, and then you're good to go. If you don't hear that, then there's an error and you have to restart your steps. Make sure that Vigum is plugged in, make sure that everything's good and you might have to do a computer restart. But then we can launch our game because now our plugin is working and I'm sure that a couple of my controls might be a little off so I'll probably have to go back in there and edit them a, couple, a little bit myself. But I wanted to get this video up there for you guys so that way you at least had an idea on what's going on or how you can get this to work because I was pretty frustrated when I found out that I couldn't use my flight stick. I looked on YouTube and there wasn't any videos talking about how to uh, manually do this. So that's why I made this video quick for you guys and uh, I'll show you how this uh, responds for us. Mm -hmm. Charge Assault, Mission 1. Is everyone here? Yep, I'm here. Right, and start mission. Alright. Need squadron aircraft preparations complete. Lucky. Stand by at the front. It's gonna work perfect. We're not gonna be lucky though, because there's always something, right? So I'd imagine this will probably take me a couple tries, and I'm sure it'll probably take you guys a couple times. And it might even take a little bit of time to get all this information downloaded. Radar sight still silent. Scramble. Trigger, your call sign is page two. Verify and read back. Page two, clear for takeoff. Your situation is tight. It's a hell of a welcoming party, but we have faith in you. Good luck. Control, do me a favor and get work. that bird in the air ASAP. Hear that? Column squadron and your wing. Take off and form up with Mage 1. No good. The carrier is a wreck. Our other ships are taking a beating. Mage 2 scramble. Take off now. I 
Now, anti-air armament available on the escort ship. Electronics are malfunctioning. How can I... A damn parade of bombers. Alright, whatever. So... Mage 2, is there a problem? I did something with this, so we're just going to take them out. It's those fighters in the air. They're still bombing us. Page 2, altitude so restriction is lifted. Good our, luck. I don't know if you can see it, but Peculiar. these are the fights. Oh, looks like the, the harbor's taking a lot of damage. Left going Can't have any more casualties. Right Time to stop the bullshit. Up and down works. Mage 2, form up with Mage 1. All aircraft, let's do this. Golden Squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Target. No, so we're understood. Be a thing just in. This is the AWAC Skykeeper. The settings that will allow me. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. Welcome. Trigger, I'm your wingman. man. Fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. A little bit of patience. You should be able to get this to completely work for whatever joystick you have. And uh, if you read super closely in that walk, you shouldn't have any issues at all with uh, setting this all up. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and uh, drop a comment. I would love to try and help you answer these questions if you have any. Also, on the UCR uh, page where you add all that information, on the top is help, and these guys do have a Discord channel where you can go and ask them for any information, or really anyone who has issues, just talk about what's going on. There's usually people in there that are pretty kind of helping you figure it out. guys thank you for checking out this video i'll try and put a post uh, an update on this video like a part two later on once i get the controls fully mapped and able to figure out so that way you guys have something to go off of or if you guys get any information you know always leave a comment for other people to have some help It'd be uh, much appreciated but until then thanks guys for checking out lush gaming i hope this video was helpful for you guys